There are some, some film people here. There's several professional fighters in here. There, there are folks who make lab boxing gym. Your friend Artie Verbeek is here. You know, there's a lot of different folks here. And, uh, and so I'm gonna turn this over to the group to ask you questions, but I'd just like to start with, could you tell us about your involvement with this project? Where did, it, where, where did Bert reach out to you or how did this come to be? And then the second part of that is, one of the most poignant parts of the film, I thought, is when you talk about how these other sports have such checks and balances, and there's, there's you know, these unions or different different systems to protect these athletes, but boxing doesn't have that. What are your thoughts on that? Um, well, let me start with the first two separate questions. Just ask, let me start with the first one. Um, actually, Mario Lopez um, called me many years ago. I mean, this, this project was, was years in the making, and it didn't really start out, I don't think, and Bert could probably speak better to this than I would, but it didn't really start out to be a project centered on Holyfield, Tyson, and Hopkins. It started out to be more on the state of boxing. And it evolved over years into this um, film that you saw tonight. And, and um, you might have noticed my weight fluctuates during the film because I think that like five years passed during the course of this. and. Uh, I tend to, to bounce a little bit my way, so you probably noticed a skinnier a little bit, a fatter a little bit, very similar. You're not alone. Um, uh, there are a lot of heads nodding uh, about our own lives in this auditorium. Yeah. And with respect to the union stuff, I mean, I'm sorry there's never going to be a boxing union. There won't be. There is, you need collective bargaining. You need collective interest. You know, and all, all, all due respect to Bernard Hopkins, if he was so interested in a boxing union, he'd be willing to give up a couple of points off of the million dollar purses he made to be a, a real leader and try to make it happen along with guys like Mayweather and Pacquiao uh, and Klitschko, the guys that are in that, that you know, 1% that makes 99% of the money. Um, and the, re, you know, the average fighter lives at or below the poverty line. Um, who, they, then it's a very different interest on the part of those fighters than the guys fighting on HBO or pay-per-view um, or the mega millionaires. So, with all due respect, I mean, it's not a matter of, of promoters or, or people in the business blocking the union. It's that there's not not enough, honestly, of a shared interest um, by fighters to help create. And by the way, then who would you negotiate with? There is no commission. There, there, there is no ultimate authority. You know, 